Which brings me to my next point, which is the proposal that Obama has put forth. I know that, the, that this is going to be a hugely controversial topic, especially on my channel, but I am, I am an Obama supporter. Uh, hey, I just said it. Woohoo. Me too. Um, yeah, Kayla as well. Um, not because I think that he is doing fantastic things for the country, but because I think that he is the lesser of a variety of evils that could reside within the, uh, the White House. Um, and that's a, that's a terrible way to look at politics, but sometimes that just becomes what it is uh, in, in various thought processes. Um, as far as, and so what you end up with is people who will cling on to pieces of information that are fed to them um, with no real knowledge of, of what those pieces of information mean or without delving deeper into the details of, of what it is. Um, this is obviously, like I said, coming down to the proposal that was laid forth by Obama. Uh, and it is just that. I would beg of each one of my viewers to, to educate yourselves. It is not a gun ban. Um, you know, read of the 270 some odd pages of the proposal that I have read. Um, <clears throat> it nowhere outlines uh, um, uh, the, the seizure of, of currently registered firearms. The largest points in this proposal, and it is just that, nothing has been passed. I understand the, the possibility for executive order. However, nothing has been passed and nothing has been pushed as of thus far. But the largest parts of the bill deal with the purchase and sale of assault rifles and clips uh, with a capacity larger than 10 rounds. That is the bulk of it. Nowhere in this bill, if you educate yourself, if you read about this bill, if you see what is actually in it, will you ever see anything that, that infringes upon the gun ownership of current gun owners? Including people with assault rifles. Including, Kayla makes a very good point, including people with assault rifles. It just deals with the further sale of, aside from the largest part of the bill, which, uh, which deals with better background checks, which I firmly believe in. As an, as an avid gun owner and user, I, I, I am in full support of, of better background checks, of, of better, better checks in general. Everybody um, keep... knows somebody who doesn't need a gun. Yeah. You know, in, in a moment of light humor, every, <coughs> every single person that will watch this video knows one person should who should never it. own a firearm. And so, you know, those, those are the people that, that this proposal is, is aimed at, in general. Granted, I'll go back on myself to an extent there, because, uh, you know, assault rifles, I like to shoot them. They're a lot of fun. Um, and nothing more than that. I'm never going out deer hunting with an assault rifle. And as far as um, people who break into my house, I'm going to be far less concerned about somebody who breaks into my house with a flippin' AR-15 than somebody who breaks into my house with a 38 Special. Because I will guarantee you, and any one of you who have shot a gun, handled a gun, will know that it is far harder to get up close to somebody with a weapon that is concealed, if the weapon that you're trying to conceal is essentially the size of a small rifle, a Winchester 243 lever action short barrel. I mean, come on. You can stuff a 38 special in your freaking pocket. So, yeah, I, d I don't necessarily think that, uh, that the banning, the purchase and sale of assault rifles is the cure-all. However, what I do like about the proposal is the background checks. Um, and so, once again, I would urge anyone who watches this video, any of my subscribers, to educate yourselves. If you feel the need to be up in arms about something, to be passionate about something, I encourage you to do so. Everybody needs something to be passionate about, to believe in. However, if you are going to believe in something, 
to the point of, of passion, at least do yourself the favor of educating yourself on the topic that you are passionate about. Because it will do you and everyone else a favor when you know the facts, when you know what's going on. And just because somebody says it does not make it true. I, uh, when I was living out at the ranch, there was a lady down, down the road, that, uh, an, an older lady, uh, who we went to visit and, and, and uh, help take care of on occasion. And uh, she used to say something to me, and, and I say this in regards to the knowledge that you give yourselves through research, etc. Um, so I'll leave you with these parting words on this video that I usually wouldn't do of this nature. And that is, believe none of what you hear, a quarter of what you read, half of what you see, and all of what you know. So. YouTube, with that ending thought, I encourage you, by all means, whether it's controversial or not, leave me your comments, um, your thoughts, uh, send me a message and tell me how you're going to hunt me down and shoot me, by all means. I, I would love to hear it, and uh, educate yourselves.